This week, Ego gives us a ride in their brand new arc. TTC tears open their triple hammer. TNS uncovers 10 new Makita tools. And we tell you how we got Milwaukee's tracks off first. This is your Power Tool Week in Review. Today's episode is brought to you by Ohio Power Tool, Pro Tools, Pro Service at the best prices at OhioPowerTool.com. And Flex, it's what's next. Welcome back, Power Tool fans. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And it was a really crazy week this week. Yeah, if you guys missed it, yesterday we gave the world the exclusive first look at the highly anticipated Milwaukee M18 track saw. We did, but today we're going to get started over at the Torque Test Channel, where the trio of Torque Testers thought they felt something wrong with their triple hammer. So naturally, they cut it open. This is the extremely popular Metabo HPT triple hammer impact in both 18 and 36 volt clothing. In a previous video, the team noted some odd behavior and assumed it had to be with the unique three hammer design. But instead of just assuming, they decided to cut one open and use a high speed camera to watch the hammers in action. And sure enough, they found some odd behavior, including the occasional skip. As interesting as the video already is, they quickly followed it up with a pinned comment and updated description as they believe the odd behavior may actually be a feature? They literally have Metabo HPT engineers working on an answer for them, and they've suggested that they may take the video down if they later deem it to be misleading. It's a really fascinating thing to go watch, so be sure you head over and do so before it's gone. A while back, Milwaukee invited a few of us out to Wisconsin for the unveiling of their new line of 18 and 36 volt wet dry vacs, and we were excited to run into Clint from Tool Review Zone, who even took the time to shoot some fun footage with us. Unfortunately for Clint, um... All four of his SD cards were stolen on the way back. And I can tell you, as a video guy, that's really painful. But fortunately for Clint, Milwaukee just sent him a vac of his own and the entire air tip lineup for him to put to work. And this time, we all get to enjoy the footage. If you're trying to decide if the M18 vacs are worth it, Clint does a fantastic job of covering every single inch of the new tool, including every feature and function. He also got the new soft accessory bag that straps onto those four hooks on top of each new vac. And of course, he puts the vac to work and details the steps for emptying it out and cleaning the filter. But most of all, Clint really just likes to clean his hands. You can see the full review over at Tool Review Zone. Tools from Tools and Stuff is a fantastic source of Makita tools, and this week he details over 10 new Makita tools he found in Japan that may soon be in our own markets. The list is not small. We're talking about things like an 18 volt heat gun, a new XGT impact in wide range of colors, an XGT power cutter, polisher, and even a sweet XGT metal cutting saw. Seriously, the list goes on and on, including the typical Makita weirdness, like this 36 volt kettle and the weirdest lawnmower we've ever seen with a clear grass bag that I didn't know I even needed. If you're a Makita fan, you've probably already seen this video, but if you're not, there are just too many don't miss tools for you to miss. You can see it all at Tools and Stuff. All right, if you haven't seen it yet, here it is. As we announced yesterday here on Belts and Boxes, this is the all new Milwaukee M18 six and a half inch track saw. And we had a bit of fun with it yesterday for April Fools. So today we thought we would answer some of the questions that you guys might have had about it in the video from yesterday. So first off, we want to thank Austin Patrick. He's one of our production crew members and he originally suggested to us that we build a full size Milwaukee track saw out of Legos. Of course, that would be insane. So fortunately, after a quick search in the Lego subreddit, we found Jason with the team at Playwell Bricks. Yep, so we just gave them some, let's call it reference material, and they came up with this design, which we think is pretty darn amazing. They even built the 51 inch track, and yes, it slides along it. <laughs> The saw does plunge, but only about a half inch, which is tragic because the saw blade they built is simply fantastic and you can't really see it. I'll have Spencer put a render of it on the screen. So we can't get the blade out, but we can make it spin thanks to the detachable arm that they built into the back of the motor. Oh, and yes, it is all glued together, but if you want, you can build your own. We put the instructions on our website and Jason even provided a shopping list of the bricks so you can order what you need from BrickLink. The final brick count is 3,000. 423 pieces and he said that you can expect to spend about $550 or so for all of the Lego that you'll need. And yes, we did spend over $3,000 on this one. That fee covered, of course, a bunch of things. That includes the bricks, Jason's design, the assembly, the delivery. We also paid a bit more to have the whole thing rushed. We could only give Jason about five weeks to complete it from start to finish. And that includes ordering all the parts from all over the country, assembling it for testing, then disassembling it, reassembling it with glue. Jason, 
you did a remarkable you job. Did. We love our saw. And if any of you are interested in having your own custom kit made, they can build pretty much anything over at Playwell Bricks. Speaking of April 1st videos, Ego surprised all of us today with a totally true announcement about their first recreational vehicle, the Ark. And seeing as they're the sponsor of our show, I called in a few favors and made sure that Sarah and I got a ride. That ride was so true in real life, you know? I do. <laughs> Under the tagline, Power Performance Propulsion, the ARC is the world's first completely electric hover car powered by Ego 56 volt ARC lithium batteries. And clearly those batteries are being put to good use. With a top speed of over 200 miles per hour and a ridiculous 1.8 second zero to 60 time, this is not a toy. This is a revelation. Offering seating for two in a range of 540 miles, this would be the perfect daily driver for most users. And because it it hovers, it doesn't care if you're on the road, off the road, or even over a lake. The Ark will get you there. Rob and I took a ride in a prototype, and as you can see, we were into it! No word yet on price or availability, but you can find more at egolabs.io. And that's it for today, guys. Next week, we're going to announce this month's Shop Class Heroes. Plus, we'll be revealing the contents of our new giveaway shelf, chosen by Hayes Machinery and sponsored by Spider. Did, did you actually talk to James about picking the shelf? No, I don't need to. That guy owes me. Or what? Doesn't matter. Okay, gross. If you guys liked this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, we hope that you subscribe. If you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend. And we'll see you next week.